welcome back to my channel. I'm Gabby if you're new here. Hi, hello, how are you doing today? I hope you're doing fantastic. You look lovely today. Anyways, today I am doing a video that a lot of people have actually asked me before to do, which is how I edit my photos. I'm trying to start revamping my Instagram and become more active on my Instagram. So that's what I'm doing today. If you wanna see how I edit my photos, then just keep watching and let's just get right into it. So the first, step that I always do to make my photos is the filters I used. Now, I have actually just recently started making my own presets. Now, that's a whole like other thing, but I also am starting to sell them. So, I so far have three presets that I use, um, and there's one in particular that I'm like really, really loving right now, and um, I'm gonna show you that preset today. Um, and that one is going to release soon on my Etsy. Um, if you're interested in buying any presets from me, sorry, I would really appreciate it, but no pressure. If you do, I'll leave the link in the description below, and you can also find me at Sunkissed by Gabby on Etsy. Let's do this. So basically, the first thing I do is I go into Adobe Lightroom. Now, Adobe Lightroom is the main photo editing app that I use now because it is way more editable if that makes sense way more focused on color range and not so much picking a filter and distorting it that way if that makes sense so the first thing i'll do is i'll pick a photo so i will pick this one um so um as you can see beautiful red rocks in the background but basically the first thing i always do is i will the best thing about presets is they're a one-click wonder type of deal. However, some presets do need to be manipulated because um, skin tones vary, obviously. And so sometimes it'll look too orange or too pale or, you know, it's not going to look right on every skin tone. So you want to be able to know how to adjust that. Um, but basically, I go into my presets and I have my own section, that the ones I've created. And so, well, actually... Okay, this is the one that is mine. It's called Grainy Right, Grainy Right, Grainy White. Um, I really love this filter. I think the white Instagram look is so cute and so fun. So basically, just me hitting that, it edited all of it. Now, obviously, everybody has different color preferences. So if you don't like this one, you can always choose a different one. I do have another one. So this is one of mine. This is called Desert Light. It's a little bit dustier. Um, and then I have Desert Browns, which is way overexposed on this because Desert Browns that I created was made for more underexposed photos. So photos that are taking, taken with like less light exposure. But you can always fix that by just clicking OK and then going down to light and moving your exposure back down. So that'll bring back down to a more you know usable photo so that's that so you can obviously that when i click this the before and there's a clear after and you literally barely did anything um everybody has their own color preference however this is my favorite one so that's why i'm showing you so that's one way to use that. Pick the picture that you would like to do this filter to. So basically this filter is going to give you a really sun-kissed, um, orangey tone type of glow. So a, like a golden hour, if you will, if you missed golden hour, like I did in this picture. Anyways, so um, the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to exposure. You're going to take this, um, you can take it up or down. Um, I'm going to take it down to point negative nine or you could just do one whatever you want one works and then you're going to contrast it to point two and then you're going to go over to shadows or highlights and shadows so highlights is going to be at a 4.5 and shadows at a 6.2 and then you're going to bring um, the saturation up to 0.9. And then you're going to bring the tint, oops, the temperature and tint, so 0.8 and 0.9. 
let me just discuss something with you for a second so the temperature the temperature and tint are like some of the most important parts of the picture because they give you the color tone that you're trying to achieve sorry um basically going more or going towards the yellow side is obviously going to give you orangier yellowy looks um if you want to bring more pinks in you're obviously going to go to pinks this looks self-explanatory but you can really play with how the colors come together so if you want more of that like white with pink tones this is how you're going to achieve that so just so you know and this is the last step so green is going to go to um, 1.2 or it can really go to however grainy you want green is like really like specific to what you like if you really want to give it texture this looks cute too it has a lot but this is that so it doesn't look that different when you're looking at it but when you hold down you see that it really gave it a more cohesive orangey sun-kissed look okay if you will so that's the comparison um this is what it looks like on this picture i don't know if i can do it and then on this picture so there's an easy way to do different color tones in both lightroom and vsco visco whatever the hell you call it um i hope that helps a little bit with colors okay so one of my favorite techniques for any picture is the way you edit it after it has the colors all enhanced and the way you want it and how you edit that afterwards. So my favorite app to use for after edit type of deal is Pixar and Pixar is really easy to learn and super easy to use. I'm going to show you that now. Okay, so Pixar has a lot of awesome easy features to use. Select the photo that you want to use. Um, here's a few of my favorite effects. So effects, you can go to sketch and this one is really easy for adding this little sketch. Oh, artistic. I really like the motion one. Now I don't like them for pictures like this. However, I did use it for I used it for this picture that I put on my Pinterest and it just gave it like a motion look and I really like it. I think it looks really good here, um, but on like a face, it might be weird. So like on objects, it kind of looks cool, artsy if you will. Um, as you can see in those other pictures, um, they had a grainy spotty look and to do that I use the mask tool and the first thing you do when you click mask is the new dust features come up which are my favorite they look really cool they just give your photos a more distressed look and um, just brings a little bit more personality into your pictures another thing that's really cool and in are using like these um, like prism effects and like lighting these look really good on film style pictures so there is a filter actually okay this is the one i'm talking about i don't think it really looks that good on this picture but this film filter looks really really cool and then adding that like light texture looks really awesome and that kind of gives you like that old school film look and i think that's a really fun look to do I dig it. So that's all I have for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment on this video. It would mean the world to me, as always. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, y'all.